Hey guys, I'm up here at another marmot set I just finished. I'm up on this little kind of peninsula thing. I'll show you. Covered with rocks and trees and grass and everything. Just perfect habitat for a marmot. And what the marmots have done here is they've burned a trail. Hope you can see this. Right along here to this hole. So it goes from this hole right here okay and goes on down to there that's another thing what I've done is I've set my trap right on their trail here's my finished set it's using a Duke heavy duty series cage trap this is the 12 by 12 by 30 size and I've dropped an apple right here in the dead center of their trail another one just inside my cage tiny sliver right there and the rest of that apple is back there behind that trigger plate and I've cut slivers out and that white part is exposed they can see that white and that'll really attract them back in there now I've got nunchuck lure groundhog lure spread on these apples and a lot back there in the back it's put out by a blackies blend it's got almost like a uh, let's see What's it smell like? It smells kind of fruity. It smells like a mixture of fruit and molasses is what it smells like. And then on top of this apple back here, see those chunks of black, is this whistle stop woodchuck bait put out by Blackie's Blend as well. This just has a very fruity smell. It smells like a combination of just like apples and other kinds of good smelling fruits. A lot of stuff that um, marmots like. So... This set will be good for several days, but hopefully I'll catch something here tonight or tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when I'm checking this trap. And I saw a rabbit here earlier, and I know there's squirrels around, so I might get some accidental catches. And right over in there, I just put up a, another marmot set. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when I'm checking these cages.